Wintier, bloodied at 15 out of 30, but with 9 temporary hit points. He performs a twin strike. Rolling a 19, which possibly hits for 9 damage. And a 15. Two misses. Keegan swings his sword and slashes the arrows out of the air. That ends round 9. Round 10. Wreckage at 21 out of 52, with 9 temporary hit points. Seeing that things are getting serious, uh, he takes on the form of Winter's Herald. And he says, Yield, Sir Knight. You cannot save the world if you are dead. Your task will not be performed. We are just defending ourselves. And uh, he also does to prove this point, he does nature's abundance instead of an attack. Laying down cover for all his allies. Frozen plants are everywhere. And he renews his mark. Sir Keegan misses wreckage twice more. Coltane. Alright. Coltane reverts to fury mode and tries to smash the knight. Once again, rolling something horrible. It's a ten! Zook. Zook will do another Grasping Claws attack. Ten versus Reflect. That's a miss. Autumn. A Piercing Strike. Actually, uh... Autumn's gonna do a Trick Strike. What's the roll? That's twelve. And a miss. Winter. Winter does a Twin Strike. And he misses. That ends round ten. On to round 11, Wreckage finds himself bloody, uh, um, weakened. He does? Yes, standing next to Sir Keegan in his bloodied state seems to render him weakened. Wreckage starts crying again, <laughs> seeing the noble knight so beaten up. And he performs a winter's... Herald special attack. Hitting for a 23 versus AC with 6 cold damage. That's a hit. Immobilizing the skeleton. Wreckage is weakened, so that's actually 3 damage. Okay. So Wreckage chips away at Sir Keegan. Immobilizing. And him. he renews the mark. Sir Keegan misses twice more. Colton. Uh, same as before. Oh hey, it's a higher roll this time. 18 versus Fortitude. Coltane strikes true. Yes! Finally! Four damage! And now that Wreckage is weakened and the effect of this is useless, Wreckage can take plus four bonus to his attack and damage roll for his ne next attack against Sir Keegan. Zook. Uh -huh. Zook is going to try something different and do a Savage Frenzy attack. If it's different, it's bound to hit. That's what I'm going for. Yes! 18 versus Reflex. And it's a hit! 4 damage, and he's dazed and slowed until the end of my next turn. And since that's so awesomely awesome, I will spend an action point. And regain hit points, because Coltane is inspiring. Oh, thank you. Um, how much again? 5? Yes. Single. And they'll do Grasping Claws. Oh, don't get cocky now. 18 versus Reflex hit for 6 damage. Another hit! Wow, Sook's on a roll. Autumn. Autumn will do a Piercing Strike. 21 versus Reflex hit for 7 damage. Another hit, John, you're finally on a roll again. With 9 extra sneak attack damage. Oh, nice, from the dazed. Good show. And she's also going to spend her action point. Five hit points. <laughs> <laughs> she giggles like that. And do another piercing strike. And 12 versus reflex. Aww. And oh. a miss. But at least you're healed. <laughs> Those are my three good rolls for the night. Uh, I hope you guys can finish <laughs> it off. <laughs> Alright, Wintier. Wintier does a twin strike. Misses horribly. He uses an action point And does a twin strike. Regain 5 hit points. 
And his second attack is a total of 26, doing 10 damage. Plus 1. That's a hit. That ends round 11. On to round 12. Wreckage. Wreckage remarks his target. And does an Earth Shield Strike. Rolling for a total of 31 versus AC. Hitting for a total of 19 damage. Divided by 2 and round it down, that's 9 damage. Yeah. Am I able to, like, roll a save versus the weakened? Unfortunately not. Because this campaign was written by evil people. Okay, now, which of these conditions... <laughs> oh, he's got so many conditions on him. Slowed is from Zook, so that stays. Dazed is from Zook, that stays. Immobilized is by wreckage, that is save ends. Okay. Sir Keegan swings his blade, but it gets deflected by the plants. However, his second blade strikes true for 17 damage to wreckage. Wreckage is down to 13 out of 52 hit points. Coltane is up. Oh boy. Um, without any better ideas, Coltane furiously smashes the knight. No, 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 no. He uses Viper Strike. And misses with a 17. Zook. Zook is going to use Grasping Claws again. 20 verse Reflex, hit for 8 damage. And Zook hits. Autumn. Piercing Strike from Autumn. 25 verse Reflex, hit for 9 damage. Another hit. Winter. Winter does a twin strike. First one rolling at 27, hitting for 11 damage. Second one misses. Three bonus damage. That ends round 12. On to round 13, Wreckage, at 13 out of 52 hit points. Wreckage. Wreckage does a strength of stone attack. Rolling a 23, hitting for 13 damage. That's a hit. Six damage. And he uses an action point. As Wreckage spends his action point, Sir Keegan slashes at him for 12 damage. What? What? How can he do that? He readied an attack. Okay, can, can we just call hacks on this friggin' Sir Keegan guy? He's obviously cheating. He's, so he's you guys have all bad. these powers that do all kinds of things like if I attack this guy, I get to attack you. If I shift, I get to attack you. It surprises you that he's able to attack you when you perform certain actions? He has arrows in his eye sockets. He doesn't have eyes! <laughs> exactly! That's crazy! Wreckage is at 9 out of 52 hit points. And he remarks the target. But he actually gets to use his action point, right? So we can attack again? Yeah, absolutely. And he does... Just for... No, because now he can get the bonus three hit points. Which put him at 12, so he wouldn't even really survive another hit anyway. Hmm. Six seconds to decide. Just in case, uh, strength of stone. But he misses. Sir Keegan swings his blade. Wreckage brings up his shield and deflects it. Sir Keegan swings his blade with renewed vigor, crashes through the shield, and slashes into Wreckage's arm for 11 damage. Wreckage collapses with a shattered shield. Coltan. Uh, I hate you, Sir Keegan. Alright, gonna try a furious smash. Nope, not working. That's a 9. Zook. Zook will shift out of Link Swarm. If you, uh, just FYI, if you want to move onto this square, you'd have to climb over the coffin. Can I heal him? But he from could here? go around. Could no, he? Th there's there's a coffin in your way. No, you can't heal him from there. Why? Because there's a coffin in your way, and you're like two feet tall. Didn't the coffin explode when he came out? Just the coffin lid exploded. I'm just trying. Like that. Okay, that's a bad idea. Okay, why? Because if you're on my square and 
I'm on your square, then we both supposedly get horrible penalties to attack and defense, says CJ. Yes. Yeah, and he has a turn before your turn. Hopefully he will move forward, because then we can flank him. Okay, then, uh, okay, I'll just do a flame seat then. Wait, that's not gonna <laughs> That always works. Oh, 12 is reflex. <laughs> that's a miss. Autumn. Autumn will do a repulse strike. 13. Miss. Wintier. Wintier does a twin strike. Shooting him in the head! For five damage. That's it. Plus six! That ends round 13. Round 14. Wreckage. On the floor. Roll that death save. I have rolled a death save and get a five and fail. I have failed one death save and can only fail two more. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I didn't do the voice for that. Should I do it over? Well, if he's unconscious, so it's not wreckage talking, it's Doug talking. No, <laughs> he's not talking. <laughs> okay. But he's still crying. The undead knight cannot be swayed by the tears of a dead man. Sir Keegan conscious. slashes into Autumn twice for 14 and 12 damage. Autumn is down to 10 hit points. Coltane is up. Autumn finds herself weakened. Should I try stabilizing wreckage, do you think? Uh, maybe wait one more turn. Alright. Goldtain, once more, although he never does well, attempts to furiously smash the skeleton knight. It's an 18 versus fortitude. Four damage. Hey oh, that's a hit. And once again, when he finally hits and can give someone the bonus, they've been weakened! Isn't this funny? It's not funny. But Autumn gets the plus four to her next attack and damage. You could give it to Winter, couldn't you? Adjacent to either Coltane or, or the target, so. Oh, that's true. Can I, can I give it to Winter instead? Is it too sure. late? Okay. I give it to you. Would that plus four apply only on the first of his twin strikes, or? Yeah, just the first. Cut. Zook. I go back into my Lynx form, I shift back square, and I want to charge him. Can I do it? Coffin in the way, no. Not like that. Couldn't he charge him from where Winter nope. is? Nope. Uh, from where Winter is, yes, he would be able to. Okay, well, I do. Uh, we all know that charging always saves the day. That's true. And uh, 9 versus Reflex. And that's a miss. Autumn. So, what is this weekend now? Half damage. Gay. Okay. Repose strike again. 25 versus AC, hit 4, 3 damage. Autumn hits. Wind tier is up. Twin strike. The first attack is a total of 24, thanks to Coltane. But it would have hit anyway with 14 damage, which is nice. Second attack misses. Bonus 1 damage. Knocking out the last of the skeleton's teeth, maybe? Wintier pegs Sir Keegan in the skull once again. Sir Keegan reels. I have failed once again to vanquish the minions of evil. His bones collapse to the ground. There's a big cloud of dust that's kicked up. His sword clatters down the steps of the dais. This sword, which during the battle you saw had, uh, first off it was inlaid with platinum. You notice that it shone, shone a lot more than regular steel. That it had a line of three white diamonds set into the flat of its blade. And that its pommel was carved to resemble the head of a noble dragon. As the sword collapses down the steps, it withers and rusts. And the diamonds turn to coal. That ends round 14. Round 15. Wreckage. Roll that death save. Wreckage rolls a 3 and fails. He can only fail one more. Hmm. Coltane. Coltane furiously heals Wreckage in an attempt to stabilize him. But that's a 1. Well, a total of 6. I think that fails. Yep, you need a 15. Zook. I get on my Link Swarm and I heal Wreckage. 
26. So Zook stabilizes wreckage. And uh, we're going to be ending the session pending any final in character commentary. Wreckage is crying. Stupid wreckage. wreckage. is unconscious. This is Trap right here. He's having a dream where he's crying. <laughs> in his unconscious state, Wreckage is aware of the death of a glorious and noble skeleton knight. Coltane kneels down and pats him on the head. There, there, you big glorious softy. I still think you're an idiot. Uh, CJ, how many rounds is that? I forgot to do my arrow counter. Even after I've reminded you at the beginning and you still didn't do it. Oh, uh, this was round 15. And 14 of those rounds were combat. So, 14 times 2 plus 2. So, 30 arrows used, I guess? Sure. One of your attacks wasn't a double strike, but I don't think it really matters. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. And I get a quarter of that back. So... 7 arrows back. So, you so that means 23 three arrows. arrows. Bam. Alright, remind me what happened in the skill challenge. Who failed? I know Wreckage succeeded. Who are the three failures? Me, Autumn, and Wintier. Wintier. <laughs> well, that was just a ridiculous series of events. Uh, I, you wouldn't believe this from what happened during the battle, but on every attack against, pretty much every attack against Wreckage, Keegan had a 45% chance of hitting. So he should have been hitting pretty much once a round, since he attacked twice per round. Instead, he hit like what once every four rounds. And he even managed so to we miss got the four attacks. To make up for our, our bad luck on the skill check, we got ridiculous luck against wreckage. Is what you're saying? Well, it's not so much that you guys got good luck; it's that I got bad luck. <laughs> well, it's not really. I mean, not that I, like, obviously I don't want you to die, but it just made for a very dull and boring battle. And at some point, I, I was going to say. You know, you don't have to fight this guy. <laughs> like, if you guys are getting bored of hitting him, and, you know, he's just in that corner, so obviously he can't retreat. Uh, <laughs> if you really didn't want to fight him, you could have just left. I wanted to it's get like, the story. <laughs> I'm so upset we lost that skill check. Did, you need, did we need just three wins to, to get it, or? Six. Can you tell us? Six. Which wow. really wasn't a lot. The, 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 the difficulty, the DC for the diplomacy skill was 10. I mean, even if you have zero in diplomacy, that gives you a 55% chance of success. That's so ridiculous. Yeah, as you said, ridiculous turn of events. And how many hit points did he have in the end? Just out of curiosity. In total, he had 325. Oh my god. So... If we had had average rolls, we would have succeeded the skill challenge. Failing that, if he had had average rolls, we'd all be dead. <laughs> that about sums it up. Because once, once wreckage goes down, that's it. Like, the rest of you guys are just screwed. I mean, not, not to offend you guys, but he's a defender, so that's his, his job. So when he's not doing his job, like when Dave is role-playing him, uh, playing him or when he's dead, then the rest of you are screwed. I like how you put in the part where we're screwed if Dave is playing him. Seriously, how often has he marked things? Like, ever. N not not even, like, round per round. Like, a few sessions, he didn't know what, what the marking was or something, or he didn't even know he had the mark. I thought that was pretty funny. I think Dave was... It's a notion I call win competence. It's when you feign incompetence so that it works in your favor, i.e. your character's not getting hit, and you get to say you're awesome because you never fall in combat. And he's gonna complain next session. Like, why is my action point used? Why are all my dailies used? <laughs> why oh. didn't you guys get the sword? Because he would have used that sword. It does the same damage as his axe, so... Was it a magic sword? Did it have cool powers? Um, let's see. It had a name. You wouldn't have known its name, though. But it had a name. Uh, it was a plus one magic long sword that... Uh... Gave a daily power... When you drop an undead enemy to zero hit points, you gain one healing surge. So not an awesome power, but still, I mean, just having a plus one is something. The fact Speak that we would have been devil. on the side of righteousness 
and not slain a defender of good would have been worth it for me. Yeah, and it, you, you kept bringing up the story, and I, I totally agree. Like, I wish you guys would have been able to get the story there, because a lot of you like weren't there when you got the little bits of story that you did get. Like, I think only Nick was there for that. Or at least he's the only one that paid attention and remembers. <laughs> so this would have really filled in a lot of, uh... Well... I guess it's just, it, it, it's, um... Poor adventure writing to have plot hinge on the success of random die rolls. That's true, eh? I don't think particularly highly of this adventure for a number of reasons. Combined with our party, it's a comedy of errors. Do, do we at least get good experience from him? Uh, you will get experience. Whether it's good or not is, is up to your interpretation. I don't know what not kind of numbers you consider to be good. Level 3. Well, it's just I'm, I'm behind everyone, so I want to I wanna get to level 3. You likely won't get to level 3 in one encounter. <laughs> I think on average it takes 10 encounters to level up. I want to get like at least 100 experience each. You'll definitely get at least 100 each. Man, that was ridiculous. I mean, at least it wasn't ridiculous. We all died. I bet the slime has 300 hit points too. We could take the slime. If we if we manage to get wreckage tanking, uh, like he did on that one, like if if he can, can get into a position where the slime is attacking him, and he's got his cover and all that, and everyone's in cover, I think we could take it. Cause the slime, it's hard. It's uh, easier to hit too. We can't attack the slime if he's in the middle of the room, because we need Autumn's sneak attack, which this whole thing we barely got. Yeah. The slime is a bit of trouble because it it starts off and it like weakens and dazes people, and then it just... It, it sort of like this guy, can make a lot of attacks and does a lot of damage. And we were lucky, you know? CJ said he had like a 45% chance of hitting and he missed. Like ninety percent of the time, so it's not like you can count on that happening with a slime. It might just be like last time. It walks forward and like kills me, and then kills someone else. Also, it has it definitely has the terrain advantage, and it has reach. Question: Why did you guys kill Keegan, or re-kill Keegan? I mean, yeah, I understand why you were. Of unconsciousing him? No, 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 no. Sorry. Why? Why did you keep fighting him until he was dead? Because he was attacking us. Because insights told me he wouldn't back down. Right, but so I, I could understand if he was like dealing devastating damage to you. But I mean, he was like barely hitting you guys. He was pretty much a nuisance more than anything. Like you guys were getting bored during that battle. <laughs> I just half expected you to just like walk out out of boredom and leave him in the room, close the door on him. There, there, Keegan. It's okay. You keep fighting evil now. Well, it's quite possible that this gate thing he's protecting is old news, and he's just this poor undead warrior stuck to his duty that we've actually done the right thing and liberated him from. That's absolutely what I was thinking, actually. Um, Coltane, as always, is motivated by <laughs> wonderful, wonderful thoughts, and he was doing this just to put this poor warrior to rest. That's why he was calling him a bully, so that he died feeling bad about himself. <laughs> absolutely. Coltane speaks in <laughs> mysterious ways. So, could, could we have, as an afterthought, Winter walks through the pile of dust, Brushes it softly and says good night, sweet prince. <laughs> <laughs> what is that from? I can't even remember. Let me look it up. To make Wreckage feel better, we should have like this elaborate re entombing ceremony. No, instead of continuing to save the world, we waste time putting him back in the sarcophagus, putting his ruined sword in there. Okay, uh, it was in the big Lebowski? And Robocop. You got that from uh, Encyclopedia Dramatica? Dramatica. Or, okay. Yeah. Is everything in there factual? 
or is it like uh, an encyclopedia? Uh, it's sort of fifty-fifty, I think. Let me look it up on YouTube. <laughs> All right. Well, what I could say is that it, it, the the battle was well played on your parts. You guys, you know, you did everything good, as far as I can tell. You know, you made good use of your powers and tactics, etc. I think what was key was the way Winter tanked, uh, no, sorry, but Wreckage tanked and Winter damage dealt. And Coltane failed. And well, Coltane kept Wreckage in the battle. That's true, that's true. So, hey, next week, everyone goes to town and buys arrows. Oh, good point. What do you guys plan on doing next week other than going back to town to buy arrows? I don't know. Can, can we sell skeleton dust? <laughs> Way to honor Sir Keegan there. I think I think Wreckage is going to, to put it in a pouch and carry it around his neck as a symbol of justice and ball sackery. And when David takes over the character, he's going to... Take the dust, mix it into beer like quick, and drink it. <laughs>